Good morning. This morning is Wednesday, and today we will be starting a new job, but we've been in this neighborhood in the past. It is a um, 55 and up community, and all the driveways are concrete driveways, and they decided a few years ago to make the expansion joints with pavers. So today we are going to be going in there, cutting out a nine inch wide strip all the way down the driveway and installing pavers in this concrete driveway. So there should be about three strips that we're gonna do in one driveway. Um, we just have one driveway to do in there. There were new slabs poured. I'm not even sure if the expansion joints have been cut yet. Um, so we will go out there cut out the concrete and then install the pavers so without further ado let's get to it Probably sand, but I don't even know if we're gonna be able to get all the way through the concrete, so we might have just concrete there. Depends how deep they poured it. If they poured it right, we're not gonna get all the concrete out because it's gonna be four inches. That saw only cuts to three with the way it is. Grab that uh, little hose nozzle that's on the shelf in there. Yeah, where is it? It might be in the trailer. Pretty sure it is. Um, I have no idea. Oh. I've known that we've had one, but I just didn't know where it was. I finally found it. Yeah, the sludge is up, up, up front. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that should be it. Gotta go get some sand. Throw it in the bucket. We're gonna mix this sand with concrete, put it down before we lay our pavers down to give it a really strong base. Let it come up here to our sand pile. All right, got our truck lines down. We're about to fill up the squirty bob and then start cutting. Whoosh. Running a paver strip here, paver strip there, paver strip here, just like these down here. It's in every driveway in the neighborhood. So. Custom. Go under a small piece of PVC that's then this new hose. Oh, yeah. Woo! That's not even a hose plant. New hoses cost too much money nowadays, I guess.
bought the ticket today. Got to cut out the strips and make all these paver strips like the rest of the neighborhood has because these are new concrete pads that were just put in here and so we got to come out the paver guys and cut them yeah and put the pavers back gee whiz that's a lot of work i know right yeah <laughs> <laughs> why didn't they do that when they used to i know them? i wish they just would have formed it to where the pavers are going to be at poured yeah. there instead of having us come and having to cut rip out, out the new stuff yeah that yeah. doesn't make much sense. No. It's always something though. Yeah. The job. Yeah. Yeah, it keeps me busy. <laughs> job security, right? <laughs> so here I am pre-cutting the chalk line because whenever we wet cut the chalk line fades away. So I like to just do a little quick cut on the top just to get my mark marked in there. Um, a lot of guys might wonder why I'm not using a walk behind saw. Well, I don't own a walk by hand saw and I didn't want to rent one and I feel if you can't cut a straight line with a handheld saw, you can't really call yourself a professional. So, uh, yeah, I can cut a straight line with a saw. Yep. Uh oh, get the shot of you out. <sighs> yep.
So at this moment, I, uh, me and Ethan were both going back and forth. This second strip was a lot more difficult than the first strip that I worked on, and the first strip was still killing me, so I kind of just made an executive decision to go and get a jackhammer to make life a lot easier on us because we were killing ourselves with that pick and the sledgehammer. I'll tell you what, the pick wasn't really working very well because the concrete was underneath the other slabs. Enough of the sledgehammer and we run out of jackhammer. This will do the trick. is going to eat up a lot a whole lot Dump this, get the ASV, get like three or four buckets of sand, put it in it, and then grab a mallet. We don't have any mallets, so grab a mallet and then come back. What up? You can't cut through that, it's real hard. I'm like, you're using the diamond blade, ain't you? Yeah, no, we're cutting through it. It's just deeper than our 12 inch saw, wow. so I just rented a jackhammer. Oh, but it's been going, going good with the jackhammer. Putting yeah, that little that. service cut on the top. Your saw really wouldn't cut. Is that a four, That's a fourteen. No, it's a twelve. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks small. Twelve inch on it. That's why. Yeah. yeah. Did you tear out the old ones? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I re I report these too, but after the fact, your mom wanted to do a test on pouring separate so we didn't have to come back in and cut this out but i already gave him the price oh like form it, it up like, like yeah so forming it leaving this open yeah so you don't have to cut it out yeah but i already gave them price and they didn't want to incur the extra cost so the next one we're going to do that makes it easier on us for, yeah <laughs> now you got brand new concrete just leave it i know and then you got to cut <laughs> it up doesn't want to cut through anything with it and jose my guy was telling me he always used 12s on them on the 420s just because of the RPMs don't work good it's just with just not high enough. Yeah, with the 14 inch, like it just takes forever. Yeah, because that's that's a newer one. Yeah, I mean I, the 12 inch works perfect. Cuts like butter, it just doesn't go deep enough. You know yeah. what I mean? The 14, it takes forever to cut the same paver as the 12. It's insane.
Alrighty, I just sent Ethan back to the yard to get a couple buckets worth of sand. A couple skid steer buckets worth of sand, that is. Because we have nowhere near enough. I don't know how deep it was going to be, but this concrete is pretty, pretty deep. So, definitely going to have to fill in some, some sand here. Got all the concrete out while, I was, while I'm waiting on Ethan. And uh, jackhammer stuff is finished. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it off and load it back up into the trailer. And then it's kind of just a waiting game. I'm going to start screeding that out a little bit and start laying some pavers there. It's getting warm out. three strips are in I kind of underestimated this job I mean it's simple work but the concrete part of it would have been better with a 18 inch saw that is for sure but we went ahead and got her done I just had to go rent the jackhammer so we weren't killing ourselves too much now I'm just waiting on Ethan so we can make the uh, concrete curbs on the end so the pavers don't space out anymore and then we're out of here so thank you guys for watching i appreciate it another day another light work day and i'll see you guys in the next one